Tiffany with another video and you already know by the intro that it's anti-haul time. I have not done an anti-haul here on my channel in a really long time. Like I don't know how long but I know it definitely has been some months. You guys know my crazy work schedule, just my crazy life schedule as a whole. I have not had time to really focus and dedicate on the anti-haul even though I've seen the requests from you guys but guess what? I got time today. Hashtag I'm reclaiming my time. <laughs> so even though I took a little break from the anti-hauls, these companies have still been trying it, still been pushing this crap down our throats and expecting us to fall for it and just be ready to spend that money. But I'm definitely here to let you guys know some of the things that I don't plan on picking up and the reasons why exactly I don't plan on picking them up. So no more talking. Let's get started. So the first item that I know for a fact I will not be purchasing comes from Tarte Cosmetics and it is the Tarte, oh my gosh, what is it called? The Tartlet Toasted? The Tarte Toasted? You guys know what I'm talking about. Like I promise you when I first saw the promo pictures for this palette I was super excited. I was like those are my type of colors, those are my type of shades. I don't care if I have a thousand other palettes that look like that, which by the way I do. I just knew I was going to purchase it. This palette is going to run you $46 and I believe it comes with 12 eyeshadows. I have to say first and foremost that the Tarte Tartlet in Bloom palette is one of my favorite palettes. I love that palette. It is such a great like everyday palette but you can also do some really glam looks. Like I just love that palette as a whole. I have some other Tarte palettes and I am always really happy with the Tarte eyeshadows. I think they perform um, rather well for the price. So again I was super excited when I saw this. Ciao. First of all, it did release online first and something told me to just wait. Like I don't know if it was Jesus. I don't know what it was but something was like Tiff do not make this purchase put your trigger finger away do not press add to cart do not press checkout i finally just convinced myself that i was going to wait and see this palette in stores so the day that it released and the ulta closest to me i went in swatched it and if y'all follow me on snapchat you already know the disappointment with this palette was so so real i definitely feel like the eyeshadows in this palette do not perform as well as i wanted them to i felt like a lot of the shades especially the lighter shades were like super ashy and then the deeper shades were not as pigmented as i thought they would be I really have no choice but to compare this with the Urban Decay Naked Heat palette just because of the fact that the colors are so, so similar. Like, let's not even French, y'all. Those palettes are almost identical when you look at the colors. But I do really love the Urban Decay Naked Heat. I feel like the shades in there are pigmented. Um, everything just flows together. And if I had to compare them, the Tarte Toasted palette just falls a flat for me in comparison to the amazing pigmentation and the amazing shadows and the amazing blendability with the Urban Decay Naked. So I was just highly disappointed. I'm so glad I went in and swatched it because as much as I thought I was going to love it, because again, y'all know those are my type of shades, child, it was just a no for me. I walked out of there like, mm, <laughs> baby no. So along with the Toasted Palette, Tarte actually released like a whole bunch of things. They released a liquid lipstick, they released a contour palette, I believe. And then they also released something that, again, I was super excited about along with that palette. And they are their Chrome Shadow Pots. I think that's the name. Um, I believe these will run you $22. Again, even though I swatched the palette and I was really disappointed, I had a feeling I was going to walk out with at least two of the three colors that they um, did release least y'all let me tell you something again I'm so glad I didn't get the impulse to buy like I initially thought I would because I would have been really disappointed with these as well don't get me wrong the colors are really pretty they came out with three shades there's this gorgeous cranberry shade you guys know I love colors like that especially in the fall there is this really pretty gold I mean the gold is really really pretty and then they have this other shade that reminds me a lot of the trophy wife by um Fenty Beauty highlighter like that color is spot on an exact dupe for trophy wife I kid you not but when I played around with them, I swatched them. I actually walked around Ulta for a while. Again, I showed you guys the swatches on Snapchat. They reminded me so much of the ColourPop Super Shock shadows. I 
promise you the consistency was the same like the way they applied was the same the way they felt after a while was the exact same the only difference the biggest difference the most important difference is the fact that the Tarte products were $22 and you can get the Super Shock ColourPop shadows for what like five six dollars and I just was not about to do it. I was not about to play myself. I was not about to purchase that for a product that I know will do the same exact thing, if not maybe a little better for cheaper. So although gorgeous, they weren't $22 gorgeous, okay? And then since we are talking on ColourPop, I have to say that ColourPop has some exciting news. And for those who didn't know, they now carry ColourPop in Sephora. I think that is so awesome that you can actually go in and put your hands on some of the ColourPop products because they've truly only been like a major online company. A lot of the times you don't get to see the products up close and personal. You just have to trust that you're going to love it, which most of the time I love every ColourPop product that I do get. ColourPop is super affordable. So when I was like, okay, they're going to be in Sephora. The one thing that crossed my mind was, Lord God, please, sweet six pound, four ounce baby Jesus. Do not let ColourPop change what makes them so amazing and that is really great products at an affordable price. They came out with the bang. They released a whole lot of Sephora exclusive products. They released some highlighter kits, some Super Shock shadow kits, some lippy kits, and then they came out with these two new eyeshadow palettes. I thought the colors were okay like the colors weren't really anything to write about but baby girl when i saw the price of those two new palettes i was just like ColourPop tried it now the first palette that ColourPop released is called the golden state of mind eyeshadow palette this palette it comes just like how their other eyeshadow palettes with 16 eyeshadows you know ColourPop by now has released like what four or five individual um, eyeshadow palettes I have a three of them and I have to say I really like them and again one of the main things I love is that you're getting so much bang for your buck because the eyeshadow palettes are $16 so I don't know I guess crazy me for expecting them to keep the same $16 price tag um, because you're getting the same amount of shadows but child ColourPop tagged a hefty $26 price along with this new palette that released in Sephora and to me that is absolutely crazy if you are known for giving consistently good products at a really affordable price why would you hike your palettes up $10 more like who was behind this marketing scheme because trust me it was an epic fail on your end but as I said not only did they come out with one eyeshadow palette they came out with the second one um the second one is called the semi precious eyeshadow palette and this one comes with even less shadows because this one comes with eight eyeshadows so you're going down from the original what 16 or 18 eyeshadows and then you're only going down to eight so did the price change along with that no no it didn't ColourPop is also putting on a 26 <laughs> 20 like I can't even say that without laughing $26 price tag with this eight pan eyeshadow palette as well now I again don't know what the reasoning was for this I heard some people like oh well you know because it's gonna be a Sephora it's probably something with Sephora added on prices like I don't care I would have had to tell Sephora Sephora listen you're getting greatness anyway because ColourPop is known for some amazing products people love ColourPop people buying ColourPop we're not about to come in here and change our prices because then you know it's gonna change what we've already been marketing to the people who love us but baby ColourPop then got in Sephora and they acting brand new with this $26 price tag and I'm just not here for it I don't care how good the colors are I don't care if you know maybe the, the the pigmentation of the formula is changed up and it's a little different and it's a little better I'm happy with the $16 eyeshadow palettes that I already have from them so there's no way that I'm about to pay this hefty price tag like I'm just not okay so I did go back and do a little research and apparently the eyeshadow palettes are bigger the Sephora the ones they released in Sephora are bigger than the ones that they already came out with 
But yes, I'm still tripping over this $10 difference because I just don't see the point. If it's not broke, don't fix it. You guys have been already giving us amazing quality with the smaller eyeshadow palettes. So why change that? We don't need no bigger eyeshadow palettes. We don't need, we don't need the pans to be bigger. You already get a lot with the smaller ones. Trust and believe you're not about to get through one of those palettes no time soon. It was at one point I was using that... Um, uh, what is it? Yes, please palette. I was using it like every day for work and I'm still not even putting a dent into it. So my stance does not change. I still feel like ColourPop really is trying it with the higher price tag with the bigger palettes because we don't need that. Again, stick with what you know, which is giving us amazing quality at an affordable price. And I just think the $10 was just a bit too much. So yes. It's still gonna be enough so this next thing that I know for a fact I'm not gonna be purchasing like I already know people are about to come for me in the comments and I'm ready for it because <laughs> I feel how I feel I said what I said okay so the new Fenty Beauty holiday eyeshadow release I think it's called like the galaxy palette or something like that I believe the price tag for this is $59 I don't know how many eyeshadows you get but chow all of them are just so glittery it is just a glitter bomb eyeshadow palette and I know, you know, some people don't care about that. Some people love glitter. Some people just love Rihanna enough that they go try to act like it's not as glittery as what it is. And they're going to be like, oh my God, it's great. You need it. But no, child, I swatched that palette in stores and I was so turned off by the glitter flying everywhere that I just could not do it. Number one, I don't feel like it's a consistent enough palette that you're going to be able to use on its own. You're going to have to include some colors with this palette from another eyeshadow palette. And I I just don't get down like that I'm okay with mixing my eyeshadow palettes sometimes but not all the time like I will never buy one palette that I know for a fact I can't use all of the shades together consistently on their own as I'm getting up in age okay <laughs> as I'm getting a little older I just know I don't like shimmer all over my eyes I have to throw in some mattes to balance it out so I just don't see this being a practical palette um, and again like I said everything was just so glittery it is one of the reasons why I returned trophy wife I know so many of y'all came for me when I told you that I returned the Trophy Wife highlighter, but that glitter everywhere just does not make me smile. It does not make my soul sing. All it does is aggravate me and makeup should not be aggravating. And I'm sorry, I love Rihanna. I love the Fenty Beauty Foundation. I love a lot of the other products that she came out with, but this eyeshadow palette, like that's how I feel. It's just a no. Okay, so I want to talk about something that is not necessarily a new release per se. It's more of a re-release, a restock, what have you. And I know some people are probably going to come for me, you know, with this one as well. But y'all know by now, I really don't care. <laughs> the Jaclyn Hill Morphe Palette. Okay, now first off, I really didn't fall for the hype when it first released. But I think what's really irritating me, and I know further why I would not pick it up, they made such a big deal about this being limited edition, limited edition, limited edition. People were like breaking their necks, not paying their bills, and all kind of stuff to get this palette. And then I feel like you come out, oh, and then that's not to mention the people who wanted it so bad that they were paying ridiculous amounts on like eBay and Amazon and blog sales just because of the fact that this palette was supposed to never return, never come back again. And then y'all want to hit us with the OMG surprise look what's back in stock like if I was one of them people who paid an excessive amount for that palette and y'all know when y'all see a black woman clapping it's about to go down if I had been one of those people do you know how mad I would be do you know how pissed off I would be here it is I spent my light bill money trying to get this dog on palette and y'all want to come back talking about OMG surprise like surprises fence y'all about to get you know what I mean like I hate when companies do this whole limited edition thing 
you know, and I know some people would disagree, like, well, that's not right for those who weren't able to get their hands on it. Listen, okay? It's not my fault that you wasn't with me shooting in the gym at 3 o'clock in the morning waiting on this website line to get this palette. Like, if it's limited edition and y'all are stressing limited edition, it should be that. Because I just think it sucks for those who, you know, went above and beyond to get it. And then y'all come back out with, like, unlimited quantities. Like, surprise, look what we bought back for you. Really? Really, Morphe? Really, Jacqueline Hill? Like, ugh, that, ugh. Child, no, you, you can handle a little $38, okay? Because it's it's just a no. I do not like the way they did that whole back in stock type. Like, it wasn't that great to begin with, but whatever. So, Frasali has come out with a new product. You guys know the Frasali brand is known um, for their rose gold elixirs, their unicorn essence elixir. Y'all know how I feel about that unicorn essence. Nobody has yet to tell me where this essence is coming from. Where are the unicorns that this essence is coming from? But either way, um, they have a lot of products. Some products that some people swear by. Some products that I personally feel like are really gimmicky. And I feel like their new product, which is called the Jelly Beam, falls into that kind of gimmicky type of product. Now, I'm not even gonna lie. I'm not even gonna lie. When I first saw like the little video of someone that was demonstrating it and they were like tapping their finger in it and spreading it on their skin, like the inner highlight goddess in me was like, get it and bathe in it. Like that's all I could think, get it and bathe in it. <laughs> you know what I mean? But then like, you know, the budget conscious side of me was like, but what am I really gonna do with it? Does it look fun? Yes. Does it look interesting? Yes. Does it look like slime for adults and we're all kind of like inner kids at heart? Yes. But truthfully, what am I really going to do with it? Um, It's supposed to start off with like a jelly type of consistency, but it sets to like a powdery finish. So I don't really know. Like I don't really know. Is it a moisturizer? Is it just a highlighter? Is it what is it like I can't even really pinpoint for sure what exactly it is I don't even know how much it costs I know it's out already um, I probably just try to have the price on the screen or something like that but I feel like if it's more than ten dollars which I'm sure it is like that's just too much because I don't see it being a product that I'm gonna use consistently is it something if I go on like a tropical vacation sure how often do I go on tropical vacations not enough because the post office does not play those games okay <laughs> but like i just don't see it being something that i'm gonna use on a consistent enough basis you guys will find it surprising that i'm actually trying to cut down on the highlighters because i realize that i only have one face two high cheekbones but just the one face and i'm really never going to truly get through these highlighters so i'm really not trying to pick up too many highlighter products but if i do pick up something it has to be something that i know i'm going to get a lot of use out of and i just don't see myself i i just don't see what i would really do with this like it doesn't look, look like an everyday type of product i'm not trying to be walking around you know just bathed in gold every day you know what i mean i'm a queen every day but i just don't see myself you know wearing this every day and again i don't truly know what it is or what i'm supposed to use it for so for all those reasons listed it's just gonna be a note for me so I just realized that the sun went down, so the lighting is probably super crazy right now, but child, we're going to push through. The final thing that I know for a fact I won't be purchasing comes from Kat Von D, which again is a brand that a lot of the times it pains me to say what I'm not going to purchase from them because generally I do really love the products that Kat Von D puts out. I think she always has some really quality products. But she decided that she was going to come out with a Lolita Obsession Vault. And I was just trying to figure out who asked for this cat. Who? Don't get me wrong, I have the Lolita lipstick. I think I even purchased the Lolita 2. <coughs> took it back ugly color um and then i also have the lolita blush slash eyeshadow combo 
one I feel like vaults of any kind are just always a no I just don't see the point of buying a whole bunch of products that really and truly if you think about it you're not gonna use them all you're probably buying them for like two or three products when you can just purchase them individually instead of spending all that money and you know you're not gonna buy stuff I know some people are like oh we're vaults are great for gifts and blah 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 but child this particular vault is just a no for me um the total price of this is a hundred and four dollars and they're trying to say that the value is a hundred and thirty four dollars so you're saving thirty dollars whoop dee doo um it does come with the lolita and the lolita too um it also comes with a lip liner in lolita lolita oh no the lip liner in og lolita original lolita and lolita too you also get the studded kiss lipstick in lolita which is not the most flattering color in my opinion and you get the lolita eyeshadow like lolita overload lolita was not that great for y'all to be out here feeling like you need all of that again i really love the lolita liquid lipstick i think it's really pretty i purchased the lipstick i was not amazed by it i purchased lolita too i thought that was just a flop <laughs> all around and I just don't see myself going that crazy over these products I know a lot of people wanted the eyeshadow blush combo because when they released it originally um, I think it was just like a limited release because they knew they were gonna bring it back in the set and I've seen some people like I'm gonna get it just for that eyeshadow and I just be like come a little closer so I can slap you that makes no sense you're gonna pay $104 just for like one eyeshadow that I assure you is dupable really again as much as I love Kat Von D I just, ugh, ugh, it's just a no for me huge no all right guys so that is it for this anti haul I have so many more I'm thinking about doing an anti haul holiday edition because I feel like there are so many holiday releases that I have been giving a major side eye to so let me know if that's something that you guys want to see where it's an anti-haul and it's just only dedicated to the holiday release products because I would love to get it out to you guys if it is something you want to see but definitely let me know what you guys think of the products that I showed here that I'm not going to buy if they are things that have also been on your list that you're not going to buy let me know that down below and let me know some of the other things that you already know for a fact you want be spinning your coins on as always thank you guys so much for rocking with me and until next time bye youtube